Hello, welcome back. I'm called Jingo Nelly and I'm going to be taking you through another part of Time Value of Money. And uh, before I begin off, I'm going to require you to subscribe and follow what I'm pointing out for you to be able to follow up properly. So for today, we are going to be looking at loan amortization. So with loan amortization, what is loan amortization? Uh, loan amortization is where the principal of the loan is paid down over the life uh, of the loan through equal payments. Then uh, an example of an amortized loan is uh, I can give you a personal loan. Then uh, therefore, a practical application uh, of a present value is loan amortization. So. Mm, the present value concept has practical applications to determine the payments required under uh, under an you know, installment type of a loan. So you are going to use the present value concept in determining or to pay off a loan. So here I'm having an example which is saying uh, Noah is an employee who wants to get a loan from Crane Bank that allows him um, to pay half of his annual salary. You have to be very keen with this uh, example because it's somehow tricky. Um, if he earns uh, UGX 4.3M per month, show how uh, this loan will be paid, uh, uh, paid back. This is supposed to be paid back paid back in three years of the uh, if this is if if the crane bank charges 11 percent interest per annum so with this i've already told you it's somehow tricky so you're going to first look at the uh, the salary uh, that this the no is receiving so no is receiving uh 4.3 per month so may i want the annual i don't want per month so Pa, pa, the annual will be the 4.3 m times 12 months times the 12 month which giving me uh 51.6 m so after me getting this my annual salary it's when i'll subject it to uh the amount that i'll be paying to crane bank like the annual installment so it's going to be half of the annual salary which is going to be this a half of the annual annual salary giving me two po uh, twenty five point eight m so with that meaning that i've already known my annual payment which is a uh, uh, twenty five point eight m from the previous question which i have determined here so meaning that i'm going to use the uh, present value concept whereby i'm going to also use the formula uh, whereby pv is equal to the annuity brackets uh, one minus brackets one plus r brackets to the power negative n divide by r uh you yeah, i close off with the square bracket whereby my pv will equal to uh, the loan amount this will be the loan amount the a is going to be my annual payment which i already determined then the r is the interest which i already determined which is uh in the question then um, the n is the number of years so after getting this i just substitute and I extract all the vital information, which I'll just drop here, uh, depending on this, after identifying out this. So me, after getting this, uh, I, uh, I work out for this. I get this amount, 1 minus this, divided by this. I get this out of this. So uh, the 25.8 uh, multiplies, uh, multiplies with this, giving me 2.444. So 25 point uh, eight times this giving me uh sixty three point zero five five two so uh uh rounding off uh, to two uh the small places whereby i remain with uh uh sixty three point zero six so now next is how we are going to be paying uh, this loan now this is going to be our loan amount so next i'm going to show you how to uh pay off this loan So this is the full format of the loan amortization schedule, having columns over the period, uh, opening balance, 
annual installment, annual interest, which is 11% principal, and then closing balance. So with this, I have my zero year where, I, where the, the, the year where I acquired the loan, which I was having an opening balance of 63.06. Uh, this dash, 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 and then a closing balance of 63.06. So <clears throat> when I'm paying off this loan, I'm supposed to pay off this loan in a period of three years. So my closing balance, this side in year zero, is going to be my opening balance in year one. So with this, uh, it's going to be 63.06 and then my annual installment I already know from the question my, from the what we worked out my annual install, installment is going to be 25.8 which is going to be a constant then the annual interest for me to get the annual interest it's going to be closing balance this closing balance times 11% uh, giving me this amount which giving me 6.9366 so me after getting this i come to the principal now me determining principal principal is going to be annual installment minus the annual interest so 25.8 minus uh, 6.9366 giving me 18.6634 so me after getting this i come to the closing balance so when I want to determine closing balance, it's going to be opening balance. This opening balance minus the principal of this of 18.60 or uh, 18.18.8634, .18 giving me 44.1966. So after the same way I've uh, gotten this, it's the same way I'm going to get the ones of year two. Then I come to year three. Then after me getting this, I'm, uh, it should giving it should give me a zero as a to show that I have cleared or for, to show that I have fully paid this amount. So let me uh, skip this. You apply the same uh, the, the same the, the same format we have used here to get this. Then for the for the year three, uh, since this is my closing balance, it becomes my opening balance in year three. The annual installment is constant. Then this, I told you, you, you get a closing balance. This times eleven percent. You get this. Then uh, principal it is uh, annual installment minus annual invest um, interest. This minus this, you get uh, you get the principal. Then to get the opening bal uh, to get the closing balance. Sorry, it's going to be opening balance minus the principal. So this minus this, you're going to get zero point zero one. Six six meaning that here since you're seeing a zero meaning that they fully paid up this loan So whenever you see a zero it means you have fully paid up the loan. So whenever you see a number which is uh, 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 Maybe one two or something it means you have not yet fully paid the loan That means you must go like maybe for refinancing or you get another loan so that you can be able to pay up this loan so when you when you saying when you get a negative figure here, it means that you're now demanding the bank and the bank should repay you with this so after you knowing that uh this principle if you add this this and this it should give you a figure of 63.06 and then uh with that you would uh you are set to go on uh, to work out any loan amortization number Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe.